Buying and moving onto a boat in my mid-twenties had a profound impact on my life. And not just because it suddenly exposed my YouTube channel to more than five people for the first time, but because it was almost an entire shift in my perception of reality of what you could have in your life to be happy. Now, at that point, I'd already become a great lover of the great outdoors, but the reality is that I was still a very nerdy, tech-obsessed lad in his mid-twenties, still lived at home with my mum, so I had that safety net around me, and of course I had all of the perfect internet connection and all of the power that the sockets could provide to be able to plug in all the games, consoles and laptops and whatever other toys of that nature there were. And then suddenly I found myself on this tiny boat that didn't even have a proper electricity connection. And this was an era before the absolute widespread nature of the mobile broadband network that there is now. In fact, I'd say that most of the places that I would take my boat, I couldn't get internet connection. And I'd have to wander off down the towpath with my phone in hand, waiting for it to get a few bars. And even then, you couldn't do something like watch a video or play a podcast. To make such a shift in pace of lifestyle, especially in the modern era where we expect internet and electricity as the bare minimum of what's going to be involved in our day-to-day -day lives, is going to have some sort of impression and some sort of moment of re-evaluation of what you think is important in life, however old you are when you do that lifestyle transition. I feel that doing it in my mid-twenties, where I was at the tail end of learning what I thought life was all about, had this unbelievable impact that I've never fully recovered from, if I want to word it over dramatically. But my point is that I think realising how happy I was back then and how little I had physically in terms of possessions and also just in the basic sort of elements of distractions through our phones and all the rest of it, it was just non-existent for a huge amount of my time. The whole experience at such an early point in my life just completely and utterly imprinted this question of what's really important into everything I do, basically. Now, that means in some respects that the fact that I, I find I can't take some stuff as serious as maybe it needs to be taken, in some ways I can shrug off a lot of nonsense. But of course, there's a detrimental element to that where I realise too late how much more seriously I should have been taking something. The one thing that I am truly grateful for and where I want to end this video is that it's very few people, it's a rare thing in this day and age as well, to be able to actually have that experience of living a much simpler lifestyle where a lot of the temptations and obsessions of the internet and online world are just simply not an option like they weren't back then with the utter lack of mobile internet. And so I've had that rare opportunity to experience life back before the internet. And as I say, be able to then come back to the modern world and go, oh, it's all right, I suppose. You can take it or leave it to a certain extent. But ultimately, what I absolutely know and what I'm truly grateful for is that beyond any question of a doubt, I know just how little I need to be happy. And that's why you see me out in these wonderful little places that aren't necessarily incredible tourist attractions or necessarily these epic moments and monuments, but they're just nice places to be. And I like being here. Thank you so much for tuning in, my friends. If you'd like to find out more, please consider checking out my short books about boat life, available as a paperback and also as individual Kindle books. Please consider, if you're really interested, in checking out my Patreon and YouTube channel membership for extra little bits and pieces here and there too. I'd like to also just say a quick thank you to some of my recent supporters via Patreon, PayPal and YouTube channel memberships. So, thank you very much. Leslie C, Jimmy E, Dave L, Bryce P, Gareth G, Matt G, Daniel A, John K, Sue M, Amber S and Vic S. Thank you all so much for everything. Thank you everybody for tuning in. And until the next time, my friends, keep it interesting. Keep it boat worthy, have a fantastic day, and of course, farewell.